Hey guys, for today's video, I have the new I Need a Nude lipsticks from Natasha Denona. These are 32 Canadian or 25 US dollars each. You get 0.14 ounces or four grams of product, which is more than like a MAC lipstick. A MAC lipstick is three grams and I was looking at some other lipsticks in my collection. Milk Makeup is also four grams and so is the uh, Sephora collection. These are cruelty free. There are 18 shades and they're broken up into four like distinct undertone categories. So there's neutral pink, pink, neutral beige and beige. The packaging is beautiful. It doesn't really take much to impress me with packaging. Just be like plain and sleek and I'm all for it. This one's nice. It's got a magnetic closed lid. It's square. It's got some heaviness to it. So it feels really expensive. I mean, I know it's pretty expensive, but it feels like a nice quality product. I just purchased three lipsticks. I thought about doing like one from each category, but I looked at the beige ones and I just couldn't find one that I thought would look really appealing on me. So I just didn't even bother. So I got one from the other categories. So first I got Beatrice, which is 31 NP, which is neutral pink. It's a light warm rose. I also got Jennifer, which is 22 P for pink, which is just a rose. And I also got Michelle, which is 12 NB for neutral beige and that one's just a light neutral beige. <laughs> so the formula claims to be hydrating, creamy, a soft luminous finish and also lightweight and I had kind of a different experience with each shade that I bought so I'm just gonna talk about them one by one. So first we'll start with Beatrice. Now the swatch online, like on the Sephora website, looks much lighter and looks like a much more muted color than it is in real life, so keep that in mind. I find with Beatrice, when I'm applying it, it's pretty streaky. It's like fairly easy to get a nice even color, you just have to play with it a bit, but it's not one that you can just throw on and not really worry about because, I don't know, maybe just because it's the lighter color. It just tends to be a little bit streaky and uneven if you're careless with your application, which is, which I don't know. I like to be quick with my makeup, so that's a downfall, but it's not the end of the world. You can still get a nice even color if you just try a little bit. This is also probably my least favorite shade. It just is a little bit too white based for me and I don't think it's very flattering. I think it's just too pale of a color for me personally and it's not my favorite. I probably won't really wear it that much, if at all. <laughs> now moving on to Jennifer. This is probably my favorite shade. It's the one that I'm wearing right now throughout the video. Um, this one is not streaky at all compared to Beatrice. It's, it's really flattering, really easy to just get an even color. You don't even really have to pay that much attention to it when you're applying it because it just goes on really easy. The online swatch compared to the real life product, I'd say it's actually pretty similar. It might look just a tad darker online, but not that much. I think it's pretty similar. Yeah, I would say this is probably my favorite shade from all three. I think it suits me the best and it's the easiest to apply. And finally, Michelle. The online swatch looks very similar to the real life product. Maybe it's a tad warmer in real life than what it looks like online, but um, I think the overall, like the depth of the color is very similar. I like this shade but this i think this one has it feels like the formula is slightly different than the other two this one's a little bit drying and a little bit more matte it feels like it's just not as comfortable to wear i don't know what it is about the shade it just feels like a little bit more uncomfortable my lips get drier quicker and it just looks bad quicker all the shades wear fairly well like you can wear them two or three hours totally fine but they are cream lipsticks so they're not gonna last hours and hours and hours you're gonna have to reapply at some point besides beatrice the other two shades they're very easy to get pigment and just easy to get a nice opaque color that's evenly distributed and they're generally pretty comfortable to wear i like to put a lip balm on underneath all of them first if not, I think they can be a bit drying, especially the Michelle shade. It just feels way more comfortable with a lip balm underneath than if you just go on to dry lips. And I just think it helps keep the shade looking fresher and less dried out for longer. So having such a different experience with each shade, I don't really know if I can speak to this line as a whole, but I really do like the shade Jennifer. I think it'll be a new staple for me. 
Um, I think it's flattering, it's comfortable, and Beatrice is... Mm, I could do without that one. Um, I do like Michelle, I just have to make sure my lips are super moisturized before I put it on, otherwise it just gets too dried up and too uncomfortable too quickly. Let me know if you've tried this, what your shade was, and what your experiences are with that shade, I would love to hear it. Um, if you haven't tried it, what shade do you want to try? Let me know. That's all I have for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye.